trying to draw the US into a wider war and they've been trying to incite them to fight against Iran for some time. That's been failing and it's um, has worse prospects now because Iran is much stronger than uh, it was um, decades ago. So that's not likely unless the scale of the war gets to the point where the, the Zionist entity appears that it's going to be completely destroyed. I think that might be that might be a trigger for the US to get more deeply involved because the US effectively owns the Israeli entity. So I think the strategy is, of course, we know that Netanyahu, um, the current leader, is um, intent on keeping the war going because his political career will will collapse uh, at the end of it and he isn't able to show any achievements now or, or, or later on, basically. So there isn't really a strategy there except to keep it going and to try and uh, escalate and bring in um, NATO and particularly US support. And that um, seems difficult unless um, the, the the war gets catastrophic for the Israelis themselves. Um, of course, the Israelis would like to attack Hezbollah, but they know what happened last time they did it, or the last two times they did it. Hezbollah has driven them out of Lebanon. Hezbollah drove them out in 2006. There's no prospects of success there. So really, uh, there isn't a real strategy, um, a viable strategy on the Israeli part there. And of course, the Israeli regime itself is very fragile internally, and um, its international support is eroding very fast. So the uh, I, I, they would be crazy to want a further war without having uh, significant powers on their side, and the prospects of that are not very good at the moment.